Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. As I previously reviewed Flashdance, a yeah, very popular, iconic, romantic drama about a young girl who is following her dreams as a professional dancer, even though she works as a steel mill welder by day and an exotic dancer by night. Yeah. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention was that during the skating scene with Janine, they actually did play the song Gloria by Laura Bragadin, no longer with us, but she was known for singing songs like Self Control and all these other ones. Um, it was a very nice moment that they put in, even during the, the figure skating scene with her. I love that. Very beautiful moment, even though yeah, she was having trouble at the end. But after all the all, after all the months of practice, and she waited this long, well, that's what happened. Um, but anyway, um, I thought about reviewing a peanut special, simply called "Is Flash Beagle Charlie Brown," and I did mention this uh, while I did my review, because, uh, as you may know, Charles M. Schultz, the Peanuts creator, actually went to see Flash Dance. Yes, he went to see an R-rated film. <laughs> But that's not the point. But the point is, though, was that he really loved it so much, he became such a fan, that he wanted to do his own special. Um, but based on the comic strip that he actually did, that he created um, uh, when it was actually launched uh, sometime later that same year after the popularity of Flashdance, he thought this would be a good idea. I mean, because after all, with all the penis specials that we had, in the 80s being such a cultural phenomenon for that particular era, yeah, everything was going around with, you know, with workouts and and dance music videos, a, a lot of dance crazes happening. I mean, this is the 80s as we know it. That this would be a good idea for for the Peanuts to actually go for that route, and they did. So, this is the 27th. Um, animated television special that aired on CBS, 35th anniversary if you think about it. <laughs> um, but the idea is simple. I mean, for the most part, it's basically just skits that you may have seen on the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show, entwined with um, some four uh, songs put together, most of which focuses on Snoopy, you know, you know, taking out an old t-shirt and dresses up as Flash Beagle. And that's why he danced the night away at a local uh, disco joint. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of seemed like an inspiration to uh, Olivia Newton-John's physical. And has a bit of uh, John Travolta's uh, Saturday Night Fever in there. In the mix. But... The way that the program goes, it just, well, this is where, you know, we get to have uh, Snoopy, you know, joining his action, you know, you know, becoming a whole different character, like, because he usually plays different characters all the time anyway, you know, like Joe Cool, or the World War One Flying Ace, or many others, even the Bolchers, or that sort of thing. Um... So, I thought um, this special really worked, and it worked so much that it became so popular that it got nominated uh, for an Emmy, didn't win, and it even inspired to do a soundtrack for it, and guess who the singers were? Uh, Desiree Goyer, who also wrote the lyrics, uh, joining in with Ed Bogus, and, believe it or not, Joe Scarberry, who sang the theme song for The Greatest American Hero. Yes. I love how they combine all my favorites into one. I mean, yes, because, you know, for one thing, I do love the TV series The Greatest American Hero. You know, I have all free DVD I have all free DVDs of the series. You know, that stars William Catt, which I actually met him the first time around. Uh, when we were doing a Q&A uh, at Inclusion Films. Yeah, it was a film workshop 
run by uh, John Travolta's brother, Joey, and yeah, so on and so forth. But it's a workshop that's for for people with autism and all that, you know, even Down syndrome too. So I actually worked there uh, for a couple years until I move on with my life. But nevertheless, I still remember all my friends. And I mean, I'm just happy to be part of it. Uh, anyway, yeah, he did sign my DVD, of course, and I was having fun. But nevertheless, <laughs> okay. But let's get back to that. Um, the idea of this special, though, was that was that seeing that he's a big fan of, of the movie, um, that this would actually work and. They had a lot of great songs, such as uh, the Pit Pan Hoedown, uh, Pepper and Patty's PE program, which is called I'm in Shape, you know, and which actually had um, uh, Schultz's um, daughter, uh, Joe, who at the time was only 25 years old, and yes, this was before she went on to do the special It's a Girl and the Red Chuck, Charlie Brown. It's a, yeah, it's the girl in the big red truck, Charlie Brown. Yes, which is the, the first live action, animated special that we ever had. I mean, yeah, they did have a live action special before, but I don't want to get to that. Um, but they did have the second one, so it's sort of like, well, after Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I mean, we now have another live action animated special to join in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because we all know that Jill's, because Jill Schultz um, is very athletic. I mean, she has done um, all of her figure skating and all of her exercises and workouts and stuff. So it's it's really special that they have to join in with it. Um, and also, speaking of which, though, was that. Um, they did manage to get uh, Marine Jahan, the French actress uh, for the film Flash Dance, to actually perform as a dance model for Snoopy. So they actually used rotoscoping to have Snoopy uh, doing all these dance moves all the way, like something you never thought you'd see. And that's like, wow. It, uh, it basically uh, looks like uh, Snoopy is definitely uh, dancing exactly like what Jennifer Beals did uh, when she played Alex um, in the movie Flashdance. So it really worked. I love that. Um, and I, I guess I could definitely see that this really works for the body double for Snoopy. And, and I mean, I, I really love the movements. And here's another thing. Um, I also recommend you to watch um, It's Your 20th uh, Birthday, Charlie Brown, uh, or actually I think it's called It's Your 20th Anniversary, Charlie Brown uh, special that aired on CBS back in 1985. I think it might be on YouTube, I'm not so sure, but if you ever do find it, uh, check it out because this is where we get to see a featurette of how they did the special for it's Flash Beagle, Charlie Brown. Yes, you do get to see uh, Marine Jahan uh, performing all the dance moves, you know, the ballerina and all this other stuff, just to be able to put uh, the rotoscoping for Snoopy to actually make it look like he's actually dancing the night away. And and yes, you do get to see the um, the recording of, of both. Um, Desiree Goyer and, and Joey uh, Scarberry uh, performing the, the song, which will be recorded straight from the album and be able to be heard on the special. So, there you go. Um, so, it's really cool. I, 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 it really does play a tribute to um, not only the 80s with the dance crazes and all that, and the error itself, but it also pays a tribute to the movie Flashdance. So, because it really shows why, you know, you could 
why peanuts was such a popular cultural phenomenon and it could work well with many decades to follow. I mean, yes, even the 2000s and 2010s, and now we're getting into 2020. <laughs> and, well, we're already uh, having that new special coming up, so... <laughs> Okay, okay, yes, I know. Too much information. It stars Brett Johnson joining in with Brett Ketston as the singing voice for Charlie Brown and the character Five. Yeah. Stacy Ferguson, also known as Fergie, as Sally Brown. It's great to hear her voice uh, as a young kid, which makes sense though because this was at the time uh, Kids Incorporated. Uh, that aired on the Disney Channel, though. Yeah. Gina Holtzman as Peppermint Patty, Carrie Holohan as Marcy, Heather Stoneman as Lucy Van Pelt, Jessica Lee Smith, that also did the singing voice for Lucy, Jeremy Skolenberg as Linus Van Pelt, with David Ragnar doing the singing voice of Linus, Gary Gowen as Schroeder, yeah, with Kevin Brando doing the singing voice of him. And Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. Created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by both um, Sam Gimes and Bill Melendez. The special begins when Snoopy was defeating Pepper and Patty at a football game. He actually won, and then finally he went back home into his doghouse, takes out his boombox, and that's where he, he plays the song while dancing with all these awesome dance moves that he was doing yeah and that's where we hear the song Flash Beagle that's uh, sung by Desiree Goyer and uh, Jory Scarsbury yeah which you can also be able to hear it uh, later on uh, once we get to the special <laughs> uh, I know okay yeah, they call him Flash, 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 Flash Beagle. When he jumps so high, he flies like a wild eagle. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, I know. I <laughs> I got Kara Ray right there. So, we get to the next segment where Pepper and Patty and Marcy are at class. Yeah, Pepper and Patty, as usual, just falls asleep. And then Marcy just takes her head and just drags it and, and just put it straight into the teacher's desk. She woke up and she's like saying, blah. And she just says, I'm going to get you for this, Marcy. If I don't know how, but I'll get you for this. So then it follows an art class, because that's her favorite subject, where she just loves to draw a drawing and it just continues to go on and wants up going straight on top of Marcy's head and but then Marcy just was just trying to draw the picture that she couldn't and it follows a gym class which out of all the subjects that Pepper and Patty has to do gym class is definitely her favorite and that's where we get to the song Get In Shape which is actually called Pepper and Patty's PE program I'm in shape, yeah. So anyway, she leads in with all the rest of the Peanuts game. You know, Charlie Brown, Linus, uh, Lucy, um, Schroeder, Franklin, all the rest. So they're just going around, getting in shape, doing all the exercises, that wonderful workout that they're doing. Yeah, I mean, where you see Charlie Brown lifting up those dumbbells and and you saw all the rest of them just uh, working out. I mean, that's cool. And <laughs> which also did inspired by uh, Tony Basil's uh, huge hit from 1981, but I know you heard it in '82 and '83, called Mickey. Yes, you all know that song. Yeah, where she actually wears a cheerleading outfit that she had uh, ever since she was in high school, and it's basically a cheerleading song. And a very good song, too. Yeah, because Tony Basil, for those who don't know, is a dance uh, choreographer. She's an actress and a singer herself. And she, she actually does all the moves here and there. 
Okay. So I thought that would really work so well. And yes, um, part of that routine was modeled by uh, Jill Schultz, uh, Charles M. Schultz's daughter. And that's cool. So then um, we get to the next scene where uh, there, there was a party that happened at home where Sally just came out, just explained to Charlie Brown that she was with her sweet babu, Linus. But <laughs> Charlie Brown just says that none of this had ever happened. And she says, well, it should have had. <laughs> so that's when the kid decided to play the game, Simon Says, yeah, with five um, joining in for it only being taken over by Lucy. So that's where they got the, the game Lucy Says. Uh, yeah, and, and then they follow with songs like uh, the Pig Pan Hoedown uh, for Pig Pants. So I thought, wow. <laughs> okay. It's it's really cool. I mean, you, you do want to see all the Peanuts game, you know, dancing around, doing all this other stuff. And, Oh, and, and by the way, all the scenes that they put in the special would later be shown as uh, the second season of the, the Charlie Brown Snoopy Show intro. So it really works so well. And yes, they even added uh, an archival footage for uh, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, with uh, Pepper and Patty and Snoopy, you know, having trouble with the waterbed. Yeah, that sort of scene. So they recycled those scenes. And it just turns into the theme song, which, of course, let's have a party with Charlie Brown and Snoopy and the rest of the Peanuts game, sung by Desiree Goyer. And then we also got the song called Snoopy, which that's where we see Snoopy you know, dressing up. Um, yeah, both uh, Goyer and, and Scarsbury uh, sing the song, and it really works. Uh, that's a great uh, title song for Snoopy. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, he was already getting ready. Yeah, he was in the bathroom, like shaving and combing his hair. And, and then starts to wear the old t-shirt or sweater and just rips it off uh, at a headband. And some takes off all the sleeves and just uses the underneath sleeve to make them into uh, leg warmers. And that's when he, he was ready to become Flash Beagle. And he was dancing the night away at a local uh, disco joint, and you saw all the adults in the in that particular uh, dance floor. That's definitely an inspiration to Saturday Night Fever when you see that. Um, so yes, and even before he got in, you got to see uh, two Franklins, by the way. Uh, although maybe that's just a random, you know, black kid, but but I. I I could presume that was Franklin doing the, the break dancing that he was outside and then the other kid was just just a different black kid and then you saw the other kid there but yeah that's weird and the adults that you saw look almost like an adult version of Schroeder an adult version of Pepper and Patty in a way but the way we saw that you see um, Snoopy as Flash Beagle just dancing the night away and wants to jumping up all the way high like a wild ego and you see all these uh, <laughs> all these uh, fireworks uh, just uh, shooting up up in the air and then then he just comes all the way down to the screen and crashes and explodes it's, oh wow <laughs> so it's like he's having the the best time of his life but that's another reason why you know, he's been getting tired all morning. And yes, because he was been flash field the whole time, that's when Charlie Brown found out about it. I mean, yes, I mean, there are segments where Charlie Brown was trying to wake Snoopy up, you know, telling him not to follow him, but you now he's just asleep and then, and all that. Which then later on, um, during that next morning, that's when Sally decided to take uh, Snoopy for a show and tell. And even though Snoopy was still sleeping, very tired, and actually walking around like an ordinary dog, yeah, while uh, Sally was just uh, dragging him, you know, with a leash. So then, um, that's where you saw Five uh, actually showing the 
a chameleon that he had, uh, which he explains that it does change color and its favorite animal joining in. And so um, Sally was called in, brought in Snoopy, until five uh, just ridiculed her and and decided to just bring out the boombox and decided to play the song Flash Beagle. So that's when Snoopy was awake and he starts to, you know, starts dancing around. And he got an A And after that, uh, by the end of the special, Sally got an A on the show and tell report. So. <laughs> but Charlie Brown was trying to give, a, but then Charlie Brown decided to give um, Sally an advice to see that maybe he should do something for Snoopy because of his behavior. Well, anyway, but it, it's a fun special. I mean, yeah, some people may say it's corny, it's cheesy and all that, but to me, I thought this was high energetic. It's definitely what uh, Schultz really wanted that he didn't think he would do, but it, it worked in that higher level. I mean, it does play out like, like a segment for the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show. I mean, after taking a break from the first season and they're trying to get ready for the second season to show up, which we have to wait until 1985, yeah, the year I was born. Um, so this was like a slow uh, hiatus right there. It's, so they have to focus more on the specials rather than just uh, the series itself. Um, so I'm glad to see that he took the the challenge for that because even before that um, he did do uh, what have we learned Charlie Brown almost plays out like uh, a sequel to um, sort of a, a sequel to Bon Voyage Charlie Brown don't come back but this time we begin to see a different side of it like it's almost like a deleted scene but it just plays out for the special alone yeah about about uh, World War One and World War Two in the Omaha Beach. And so, okay, I know I'm getting away. Um, so I love that. Um, I love the the songs that they pick. I mean, it just really works. And what's really amazing about the songs, though, was that I do got to have a chance to actually added that when I was taking my cycling class. It really works. And it is a shame, too, that the soundtrack um, that was released by Disneyland Records uh, under the Charlie Brown's Records banner, it was only released on vinyl. They never released it on cassette nor CD. And I think that's a shame because I bet the quality would have been so much better in CD form. So, unfortunately, the only way you get to listen to it better was on YouTube or or somewhere online so lucky for me I had a copy and, and I decided to put that as a music ride for for my cycling class and I did that back in 2016 um, yeah and this was like during the holiday season because I was gonna get ready to go on vacation and this was also the time when I was about to move to this place that I'm living um, so they they took a lot of time and effort to put it all together um, there's not a bad moment in there and that, that's what makes it work for me so it's not embarrassing I don't know why people say it is but but I just I'm just glad that they they took the guts and, and challenge to focus on what the 80's were at the time uh, so that's why you know, they want to make this special a whole lot more. <laughs> it's spectacular. And I love the dance sequences that Snoopy had got to do along with the rest of the Peanuts game. And, you know, and, and again, the songs I love. And it, it works so well for workouts and all that. And uh, <laughs> What can I say? I mean, he really, he really did hit it right out of the park. I mean, I could see why, you know, he loved Flashdance. I mean, this was um, a big inspire. And yeah, it does play out like a parody in a way, but what makes it work is, well, you gotta just 
have fun have all the high energy you can take I mean take the risk who cares I mean if if it doesn't get nominated for an Emmy or, or, or not or the fact that it doesn't win I mean what matters the most is that you can do whatever you want you can add something that's very special and I guess that's what's true about it. because you know they've been going for routes like that too I mean they had to follow a lot of peanut specials that geared toward <laughs> okay that that's as much information that I have to offer and yes uh, there is actually a moment in the, the special too where Snoopy was you know wearing a jacket brown jacket doing his moves but then also he was about to you know serve some punch with Woodstock and then suddenly he starts drinking just to see how it tastes by you know sticking the straws and drinking it along with uh, Woodstock uh, swimming in the punch bowl and which causes uh, Charlie Brown's his face you know feeling all disgusted and yeah and then Lucy just comes around just uh, you know, criticize uh, his, uh, his sour faces that he's making like it's hard for you to to talk to you when the, it's really hard to talk to you when you keep making all these strange sour faces <laughs> yeah I mean I guess he is aware that you know all the dog germs and and bird uh, germs are gonna end up <laughs> inside the punch so that, that was really funny um, and of course the Lucy says a bit um, well <laughs> well you know how Lucy is because she is the boss and the the pit pan hold down scene yes I mean <laughs> He does that hold down, which causes all of his dust to to rise, and and all the peanuts getting coughing. And so, yeah, okay. Um, uh, but anyway, it's in my opinion, awesome special. Check it out. It's Flash Beagle Charlie Brown, and I give it five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.